In this episode, how to create YouTube thumbnail. If you learn something new, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Like, comment, and share this video from our Photoshop tutorial. Without further ado, let's get right into it. In this tutorial, there are the pictures that we're going to use. Now we open Photoshop. First thing to do is to create our main composition. And to do that, go to Layer, New. Since we're going to create a YouTube thumbnail, the standard size of a screen is 16 by 9. 16 inches by 9 inches. And since this is just a small co composition, we don't need a high resolution, just keep it uh, 150. But if you want the high resolution, you can also you can also change this 300, so on and so forth. But for now, we're just going to put 150. If satisfied, press OK. Now we have our main composition. The second step is to put a background in our main composition. And to do that, go to File again, open, and look for the background, and then press Open. The background that you choose will automatically go to Photoshop. As you can see, we're going to put this inside our main composition. And to do that, left click on the background and drag it to our main composition. Then release. Just center. Now we're done in the background. The next we're going to do is to put our title. A simple YouTube thumbnails that might attract our viewers. Now we're going to type the title and to do that, go to type tool and press the left key. Then you can start uh, typing. Center. Now we are going to open the logo of YouTube. Open. And here are the pictures that I prepared before we start this uh, this tutorial. Open. We're going to put this in our main composition also. Just left. Just left click to the mouse. And drag it all the way to the main composition. Just organize all the text and images in your main composition. As you can see, the YouTube logo has a white background. We're going to remove that. And to do that, go to Eraser, Eraser Tool. In Eraser Tool, as you can see, we have three different Eraser Tool. We're going to choose the magic. The background is white, so we can easily remove that. Left click, then the background is removed. I'm going to remove the white inside. I'm going to make this a little bit up. We're going to open the layer so that we will be able to see. As you can see, the background and the YouTube text are almost the same. They are black. So we are going to put a simple stroke so that the YouTube logo will be visible. And to do that, go to Add Layer Style, left click, Stroke. As you can see, the stroke is applied. You can make that bigger. By dragging the size, the structure, we're going to make that white. Or perhaps yellow. You can choose any color that you want. Perhaps white is good. White, after I press OK. OK. Going to add text also.
we're going to make this one bigger you can make your own composition now we will add our image same procedure just open Click the image, open again. Let's do the same thing. We're going to move this in our main composition. Left click and drag it all the way to the main composition. As you can see, the image is small. So we're going to enlarge this a little bit. And to do that, press Ctrl T to transform. While holding the Shift key and the Alt key, drag the image all the way to avoid distortion drag you can adjust the image according to the design that you are making as you can see the image has the background now we are going to remove the background of the image and to do that go to pen tool we're going to zoom out a little bit and to do that press control and plus sign on your, in your keyboard press space bar and drag so that might be able to see clearly the corner I'm going to start removing the button we're going to trace first When you're, when you're done tracing, right click on the image, then make selection. Feather, you don't need this one, just put it in zero. Press OK. As you can see, the image is highlighted. All you have to do is to press the delete button in your keyboard. The image is removed. And to remove the selection, just select and deselect. Now, you can also change the color of the text. And to do that, go to layer, select the text that you want to change. As you can see, every time I press any image in the layer section, it automatically selected. So we're going to select this one. How to make and to change the color of this one, go to add layer style. Can make that you can select any color that you want when you're satisfied press ok you can also put stroke Make this one bigger. Satisfied, press OK. YouTube thumbnails in minute. You can also put that in. In red. Press OK. You can also add the stroke. Make a little bit bigger. Change the stroke in red. Change the stroke black into white. So that you might be able to see it. 
clearly press ok when you are satisfied Adobe Photoshop also you can also add you can do the region region overlay you can select this one region you can change the color you can choose whatever you want as you can see it's automatically changed For me, we're going to select this one, select also this one, add the custom color, custom color in your design, on your text. I'm satisfied, press OK. So, make a little bit bigger. We're going to import here the logo of Adobe Photoshop. And to do that, let's do the same thing. File, open, logo. Press up, open. Do the same thing, drag. As you can see, the logo is too big. We're going to reduce that and to do that press ctrl t and drag it slowly then you're satisfied if you're satisfied best okay i think this one we're going to change this one it's not too visible Here, you can also take this one. Press OK. Perhaps Adobe Photoshop will just go to leave that in white. So we can leave that in color white. Okay. And this one is better going to move put stroke around as you can see you can adjust the color 
the style the way you want press ok when you're satisfied you can also add style in your image just do the same thing go to add layer style you can select drop shadow as you can see you can add the glow so black you can change this one the color you can change this one into white so that it will just see simple glow put this one in normal distance can see or you can also put stroke put the stroke in white when satisfied press ok if you learn something new please click the like button to make you new to our channel do not forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more Photoshop tutorial. See you in our next video.